Well, the Florida State game seems like a long, long time ago. Uh, we've actually moved forward and been focusing on Boston College uh, since late Friday afternoon. Uh, they're a very good football team. You know, offensively, they're going to run the ball. They, they run it with power and, and with formations that uh, we haven't faced a lot this year. And then they also have the quarterback runs, uh, which make it a great challenge for us. And then defensively, they've done a, a very good job stopping the run. They're big and physical. Probably a little different style team than we've played as far as they're uh, much bigger. Uh, so we're going to have to go in and execute and, and keep the balance, be able to run and and throw the ball and, and uh, move it down and score points. But, uh, you know, I think it's a great challenge for us. Obviously, it was a very disappointing loss uh, against Florida State, one that we invested a lot in, uh, energy and emotion. So the great challenge for us is to come back and, and practice well each day and really get our focus and energy ready to go into another battle on, on Saturday night. Well, I think we're I think we're going to be okay. You know, we came out and played really well in the first half. You know, got turnovers, got the offense the ball in positions where we could go score, and we were working well together offensively and defensively. Uh, when you watch the video, you understand that you faced a really good team, uh, one with probably more speed than we have all year. Uh, we did make some errors in communication and gave them a couple things, and then there were there were plays where it looked like maybe we were going to make the play, and they did. So it was a, it was a good battle. Uh, but I think we'll be OK. I, I think our guys will get back on the practice field and get our confidence back and go in and play real hard. Well, it's completely different than, you know, the pocket passer that we faced last week because he's he's going to have quarterback design runs, uh, quarterback read zone runs. Um, he also does a good job when they call passes of breaking the contain and, and running the ball. Uh, we, got, we also have to be very aware of their play action game because they do a good job of run, 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 and then and then their play action game. So what it really does is it challenges our discipline with our eyes and our discipline with our gap control in, in our assignments and gap control football. Well, we've been very stout up front, you know, and doing a good job in controlling the line of scrimmage. Our linebackers play fast, don't really hesitate a lot and hit their gaps. And, and then we've been able to get the secondary help that you need, read and run or pass and come into the run. So, um, you know, last week we were down Peel, which is a concern because he, he's been a very good player for us against the run. Um, he won't be with us again this week. So we're hoping he'll be back for the Notre Dame game. But, you know, that, that is one of our concerns is that he won't be with us. Yeah, we're still got to wait and see. You know, we, we still have a couple guys that uh, we'll see how the week plays out and see if they'll be available or not. I never spoke to him. I, I didn't know anything about him. So, must have happened before we got here. I mean, I really didn't know a lot about him. My understanding was Coach Adazio recruited him to Florida. And so one of the things when he graduated, that was where he was going to go. So yeah, I, I didn't know anything about him. But he is a good football player. He's you know very big and strong and does a good job making decisions. Yeah, I think the next step is to be more consistent, 
uh, get the ball in the end zone more. You know, there's a one time we had to settle for a field goal. Another time we got stopped inside the five. So we just have to be more consistent. But I've I've liked the way we've operated the last two weeks more than than we did earlier in the year. Being able to mix the run, the pass, the play action game. I think we're getting closer to what we like to do offensively. Uh, but it does start up front, you know, and we've, we've got a good challenge this week being able to handle their big guys up front and, and making sure we can get some space and some room so we can run the ball. Yeah, they're getting better. Yeah, they, they've certainly, the last two weeks, we've improved. We've gotten more holes in the run game, and we've protected the quarterback better. Yeah, he did. A, he improved a lot. You know, he made some real good throws. He made some real good throws under pressure. You know, when there were people in his face and he didn't have a lot of room, uh, we missed a couple, particularly late in the game. So I think the next step that you gotta, we have to do as a team, really, and, and particularly on offense, is when the pressure's on, we've got to perform better. You know, when you get the ball with six minutes to go, you need to go finish the game like we did. You know, in the Miami game. Yeah, yeah, you have to come off the script. So we, we did, we did have a, a an understanding of what we were going to go to if we had to run a long way to line up. Um, unfortunately, we missed block the first play, and that set us back a little bit. But yeah, you have to come off the script and go right to your red zone plays. Yeah, you can see him do that in practice sometimes where he really shows burst and then he pulls off a little bit the further he gets down the field. And I'm sure that he doesn't feel like he's exactly, you know, where he, w he would want to be. Um, he's a tremendous football player and, you know, he's, he's done an unbelievable job the last two weeks for us and making plays and making great catches and getting open. So, uh, but I do think that he continues to get better. and. You know, last week in practice was a significant improvement from the previous week. I'm hoping we see that again this week. Uh, we had our chances on third down. Now we, you know, we got in some short yardage situation. We got knocked back a little bit. You know, um, they were a little bit. More bigger and phys more physical on that situation, on the short yardage. We had two third downs where we end up like half a yard. Um, and that's when you would like to have the confidence to go for it on fourth down. Um, but in that situation, when you got the lead and it's a close game, you know, you want to punt the ball and try to flip the field. And, and our punting game really hurt us. You know, they, when you, when you look, it out, look at it statistically, they really beat us in the punt game. Sense the game, you know. I think that I think this is the week that we find that out. You know, when we go out tomorrow to practice and see how our attitude is, see who the leaders are. You know, you're always concerned as a coach after a game that you put so much into, uh, and you and you're in it. You're competing hard. You're playing well, and and you don't come out on the right end. So I, I think this is the week that we find out. You know, who the real leaders are. You know, and and it reveals our character as a team. I mean, there's a, it's a concern, you know, because it, it played a, a significant role in the game the other night. You know, they, they punted the ball, they backed us up, uh, they flipped the field, we weren't able to flip it back. And, uh, you know, it's something we need to, we need to look at and, and work extremely hard on this week. No, we kind of took him off and, and put Eli in there the other night, and, and Eli will be the starting punt returner. Mm. 
Yeah, I think he's had a great year for us. You know, he's he's given us a lot versus the run. He's very smart, uses his hands well. He's been very sturdy. And then he's able to, to be able to transition from this run into the pass rush and has done a, an excellent job for us. He about gets one sack every game, and it's always a big, big play for us. I've been really happy with B.J. We were actually talking about him earlier today, you know, how well he's doing and, and uh, how hard he's playing and how much he's really given us this year. Yeah, you know, you, you you teach guys when you make the interception, get to the near sideline and get as much yardage as you can. And, uh, you know, he's had success running after the catch, running after the interceptions, and he was just trying to do too much. It was a simple case that he was trying to do too much. And uh, the bad thing is if he had got to the sideline, he had a chance maybe to, to score. Uh, but then he just cut back and got too much. But... It really didn't affect the game because that was the same drive that we stopped him on fourth down. Um, although if he would have scored, it might have. But who knows, you know? Well, I think our assistant coaches did a great job of getting players here to the game. That, you know, that was a real concern when we looked at our schedule. And you had uh, a great opener on a Monday night, 